All right, everybody, here is the most requested video that I've gotten this entire time. Uh, and it is how to do Synergy, Zoom, and Google Classroom all together. So let's start off by just going into Synergy. I'm logging into my Synergy account through Desert Sands. And then you'll notice I'm going to have to blur all these students here. But as I log in, I'm going to pop up on a screen that has all of my students. And it's already saying preparing Google Sync, clearing Sync Cache, because I've already got this logged in over here. So you'll notice up here by your search bar, you have a colorful Google logo. logo. If it's not colorful, then you got to click on it and connect to your Google account. That's just logging into your Google account, and then it will become colorful. That does not mean that your Google stuff is fully synced yet. You have to also go into your gradebook. Sorry, go into your gradebook and then click on gradebook setup. And then up here you have class settings. When you go into class settings, you have Google Classroom as an option. You can turn that on for all of your classes and it will automatically uh, create a Google Classroom for you. I'll show you what that looks like in my Google Classroom. Notice how it's created these separate Google Classrooms. It did all of that on its own. It even picked a theme for this ELD class because that was different than my English 2 classes. It's very streamlined and it's great. It also automatically filled in this class with students. All right, so we have these students that are already assigned to the class. It will update with the rosters that are given to it by Synergy. So if a student gets pulled from a class through Synergy, they'll get pulled from your Google Classroom class. It's very seamless, pretty awesome. Let's say you already created a Google Classroom by going over here to this plus button, create a class. Let's call it test class. We're just gonna create it really quick. We've already got a Google Classroom and we've had it all set up. We've got a whole bunch of assignments in there. It's brilliant and amazing and everybody loves it. And we want to use that Google Classroom instead of having it create one. You're going to open up your test class. You're going to go to this class code, copy it. And then in the advanced settings over on Synergy, you can put in your class code. It will automatically sync to the classroom that you've already created. Then it will invite students there. It's pretty straightforward and lovely and amazing when it works. If you're having hiccups from there, that's specific to you. So reach out to uh, Cindy or myself uh, and people can help you. All right. Going back to the home screen and you have all of these students here that we're looking at, you see this video meeting button. This is what I mean when I say create a Zoom call through Synergy. If you click on the video meeting button, you can select specific students and just meet with those students. You can do a quick start, which will just um, automatically send them an invite to a Zoom meeting. So if you're just starting class and you want to do a Zoom meeting and you go into your Synergy, you can click quick start and every single one of those students is going to get an invite to that Zoom meeting. You can also do meeting setup and schedule a meeting in advance. You're going to get this email sort of set up and it's going to send that to them. When they send that meeting request, it's going to give them a Zoom code. All right. We want to limit the amount of uh, time that we have the Zoom code out there in the world. All right. Because the more that you give it to students, uh, the more they're able to share it with others. If you just do a quick start or if you schedule a meeting in Synergy, it limits the amount that they can share that Zoom code to other places. And so that is really ideal. It ensures that whoever gets into your Zoom call has a student view and is assigned to your class and therefore is very, very likely one of the people who's in the class. So uh, that is the general Zoom sort of setup. When you do that, uh, it's connected to your district email, so it's automatically going to log you into your district Zoom, uh, which is pretty cool. I strongly suggest it. So if you can start here on Synergy and do your Google Classroom stuff and your video stuff through Synergy, it does make it a lot more streamlined. As they're balancing classes, those rosters will get changed in your Google Classroom and students will automatically be added so you don't have to give them a classroom code or send them an email. Uh, it's just already in there, ready to go. They'll go to Google Classroom, they'll see their new class, you will have all of your stuff ready uh, for them on that first day. I hope that that answers some of your questions and just keep in mind, you've got this, you're brilliant, it's going to be a great first day.